One of the best ways to tailor Smart Suite to the needs of your business or organization is by creating your own solution. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a Smart Suite implementation partner. Well, to get started, what exactly is a solution? I think of a solution as a high level workflow in your business or organization or a grouping of business processes. So, for example, you might have project management, and that's a function of your organization. That would be a really good solution. Or maybe you have a CRM. You need to track all of your sales prospects and opportunities, and that CRM is a solution itself. Now, we can create a new solution by clicking this plus button to add a new solution, and we can start with a template or we can create one from scratch. If you're doing this for the first time, I'd recommend starting with a template because, as you can see, there are hundreds of different options to choose from depending on the needs of your organization. So you could find one for project management, click and use that template, and that'll install it inside of your workspace. In this case, we're going to use a CRM solution. So let's go ahead and open up this one that we created from a template. Now, the first thing that we see are these different tabs across the top of the screen, and these are called apps inside of SmartSuite. And these apps are collections of records that are the same kind of type of thing. So in this case, we've got our organizations that we're tracking our accounts. And because these are all accounts, even though there's different types, we might have accounts that are prospects and accounts that are customers, we're tracking them as one app. Within each of these apps, we have a number of different rows and each row is what we call a record. Now a record we could view in this grid view like we're doing, or we could actually expand that record so we can see all the information about that account. And this information can be grouped into different sections. So maybe we don't wanna see all of the different fields that we have, and we want to consolidate that down to say, hey, only show me the fields for that opportunity. And we can expand and collapse so that we can see the information that's most relevant to us. Now, speaking of fields, we can add new custom fields to our application with just a couple clicks of a button. So if you're using a solution template, there's a number of different fields, or you can see these different columns, and we can add new ones to support the needs of our organization. I can click this plus button to add a new field, and you'll see a whole bunch of different field types. Let me click to explore all the field types, and you can see there's a ton of different options. In fact, I think SmartSuite has more different types of fields available to us compared to any other no-code application on the market. Now, if we scroll down, there's a number of fields, especially around project management that are really unique to SmartSuite. So we can have different assignments, we could track durations, we could track percentage complete, but things that I really like are the ability to have essentially subtasks, which we can do via a checklist. We could add this time tracking log. Let's save that. That'll add it to our app here. And now we can have individual users start logging time with our time tracking log. We can also add fields if we expand our record view and we could click the little action menu here and we could add a field above or below we could drag these different fields around the screen so we could put them in the order that makes the most sense to us. We're not limited to just a grid view. We could also say, maybe I wanna look at our accounts on a map. And by having an address field, we can input those accounts and we can see where they are on a map. And we could still expand those records and see all of that underlying information. There's no syncing we have to do. Instead, all of the underlying data in that record can be visualized in different ways. So here we're looking at a map. Let's take a look at another one. Let's look at all of our accounts and we wanna see the logos for them. So we've got this nice card view to be able to visualize that. Or if I click on my opportunities, again, we have a grid view. Maybe I wanna look at our opportunities by their status. And so we've got our sales pipeline and we can track this and we can drag around our different opportunities by status or we've got an option to look at our calendar. And so we can see when are we expecting these opportunities are going to close over time. Up at our top menu, we can go ahead and change the colors and the icons for how this displays to our users. We also have the ability to add permissions. With our permissions, we could say that everybody in our organization has access to be able to create and edit records, or we could limit this to only a particular team. We could say only my sales team has access to our CRM solution. Or we could get really granular with advanced permissions and we could say individual people have the ability to have certain roles who can create these records, who can edit the records depending on these really granular permissions. And we can also do things not just at that solution level of the CRM, but we could do that down to our app level. On the opportunity, we could say what permissions do they have? 
or we could even do it down to the field level if we said we have important financial information and we only want certain people to be able to access or to update that particular field. We can also add automations. We can click on those automations and create new ones based off of conditional logic that we have in the system. We could say, send us a Slack notification or send this email to the client or be able to use a number of different integrations that are equipped right out of the box so that you can automate your entire solution. With SmartSuite, one of the most powerful things you can do is build your own solution. So go ahead and get started today by clicking that plus button and then either choosing to start with a template like we did today or creating your own solution from scratch.